My name is Mary Kay Thomas and I'm Melissa Thomas's mother and she was a member of Superior Health Plan. Melissa was a people person. Wherever she went, her main objective was to make friends and make a better life, not only for herself, but for others. The day that I met Melissa, I was really taken back by her positivity um, and how strong of a person that she was despite all of the health issues that she did have, such as diabetes, hypertension, neuropathy, heart disease, and kidney failure. She became disabled and could no longer work, but she still had a great desire to live. She knew she had a lot she could do for people. Within the first few minutes of meeting Melissa, it became very evident how important being an organ tissue donor was to her. One of the things that we discussed at our last visit was her emergency response system, or ERS, and decided, you know, with all of her health issues, how important it is to have that in place in case of an emergency. When I found out that Melissa had passed away, uh, it was very hard to grasp. She had a massive stroke, did not know it was happening, did not have any pain. She was able to hang on because she wanted to become an organ and a tissue donor, and she did. I would like to read something about Melissa and her passion to be an organ and tissue donor. Why was it so important to her? She wanted to make a difference. Melissa was always wanting to help people to fix the situation, to find the answer to the problem, even if it meant maybe not the best outcome for her. To save someone's life was the ultimate gift. When I think of my sweet Melissa, I immediately think of the gift to mankind. It gave her life such purpose. My name is Clarissa Thompson and I work for Texas Organ Sharing Alliance. Donors uh, like Melissa can impact so many lives, up to 75 lives. Uh, Melissa, because she was a registered donor, was able to lift that burden off of her family of having to make that decision. And we were able to get the medical information and other information uh, to find the best potential recipient for her gift. And one such recipient was a 53-year-old man who received her liver. I am a cheerleader for organ donation and tissue donation but I have found out that so many people don't even know it, it exists and it is so very important. It helps so many people. Every year we do about 500 tissue recoveries and considering that you know every person can help up to 75 people, you're looking at an impact of over 35,000 people being either saved or helped or healed through tissue donation. Tissue can be used to help patients of all ages with all kinds of conditions, and part of that is because of how much you can give as a tissue donor. So skin can be used to help people who have burns or need some sort of wound care. It can also be used as scaffolding in breast reconstruction following a mastectomy. It can be used for cleft palates, it can be used for sports injuries. I mean, the list goes on and on. How awesome it is to be able to live on and to save lives to, to make a difference in people's lives with tissue donation. It's been great getting to know Mary Kay. She's been a huge advocate in sharing about her story, sharing about her daughter, because what mom doesn't like talking about their daughter, right, their children. And uh, she has such a beautiful story to share because Melissa made such a beautiful gift by being a donor. To see Mary Kay and her telling the story of Melissa and how generous she was just throughout life, it's really inspiring and for us it, it means that we're, what we're doing here is really important and very special. What a wonderful way to inspire others while honoring herself. That is awesome. That is just, that's over the top. You know, because it was giving, you know, but yet she has honored herself. Like I hope I do someday. <laughs>